So I am going to try and keep this video as civil as I possibly can, but talking about Canada in 2024 and what is happening here all across the board, you know, from the governments down is just completely and totally outrageous. And it's not only here, I see it in other countries as well, from east to west. Unfortunately, it's almost like, to be honest, I'm living in a some kind of twilight zone or I'm playing a game or something. That's how surreal life has actually become in 2024. I pray, I pray that there's change, there's a change in government, both here in Canada and the United States and hopefully other countries, that we can somehow get back on to some kind of common sense. Um, conservative way of moving forward in a democracy, you know, I don't know if that's possible. And I, I, I don't see how we can keep going down this path that we're currently on without some major, and I do mean major upset. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep this as civil as possible. I am pretty connected into politics and the news and all the rest of it. I could really talk a little bit more about this, but I don't want to because um, I just, you know, this is a tech channel and I, you guys don't want to hear it anyway. Who wants to hear a bunch of bad news? But I do have some bad news, unfortunately, to tell you today because look at this. Well, there's a new digital service tax in Canada because you know what? You are not taxed enough in Canada. I'm a Canadian. I know how much I get taxed. You get taxed on everything. Income tax, property tax. There's taxes on goods and services. We play pretty much uh, double what you guys pay in the United States for a product. You buy a car down there for 20, you pay 40 for it here. You buy a microphone, that's 200 down there. We pay pretty much 400 up here. Plus, there's taxes on top of all of that. Then, of course, there's tire taxes and air taxes and, uh, you know, home taxes. That's a new one. And then there's, you know, um, what else? Capital gains taxes as well. So keep, you know, keep going. You know, keep 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 doing this. And uh, I guess, you know, well, I, thank God. Thank God it's a democracy and we can vote. Make sure you vote. Make sure you vote. Make sure you if you don't know what's going on and this is a wake-up call uh, to you, if you're young, try to see what's going on in the world because this is your world uh, and this is something that, you know, uh, young people should be more and more involved into. Anyway, that was a completely, totally crazy dive into a lot of rambling about politics. But this is based, this video, in short, is about the new digital service tax that the federal government is basically imposing upon corporations. And you say, well, that's great. Make Netflix pay. Make Paramount pay. Make you know Amazon pay. Make them all pay. But you know what they do then? All these companies then charge you. So if your you know, streaming services prices go up, there's no wonder. You know, and this tax, uh, I'll just go over some of the things here in this article, and I will link you to this article as well. So there is a 3% service tax that the tech giants are going to have to pay. Now, I don't know what really digital services they're talking about here, but probably mostly it has to do with, well, anything digital, I suppose, and they're going to broaden their scope. I am sure they will broaden their scope. Who knows? Um, you know, they're talking about, like, for example, uh, this tax uh, to corporations, and apparently it's retroactive, and it goes all the way back to 2022. Foreign tech giants must now pay a 3% levy on revenue from Canadian users, retroactive to 2022, after the federal government enacted the measure with an order in council. This was a few days ago. Well, actually, it's more than that now. It was a couple weeks ago. On June the 28th, 2024, that's going to affect us all. And I don't know how things can get more expensive than they are currently. And I know I'm not just, just talking to Canadians. I'm talking to Americans. I'm talking to everyone on the planet. It's like it everywhere. Like I said, this is a different world than it was five years ago or even 10 years ago completely. And you know what I mean by that? Completely different 
thing altogether. It's a whole different animal. And like I said, I don't know, sometimes I, I read the news and I watch videos and I, I just scratch my head and I see things that I, I can't even believe. I, I don't even believe it's real. Like it it's just seems all uh, so fictional, but unfortunately uh, it isn't. But don't lose hope because, you know, uh, things go around in cycles. And let's, like I said, let's hope we can, we can get a change in government and we can take things on a much better path. But yeah, it looks like we're going to be paying for, we're going to be paying more for services. Uh, and I'm sure this is, this is, you know, this is going to be all across the board and uh, they will definitely include things that you didn't think that they would include with this digital service tax. And you've, if you think this is the last tax that they're going to impose on us, uh, think again, like I said, unless there is a change in government. Well, let me know what you think about this. Let me know how things are in your particular country. I know, I mean, I'm grateful in some respects to be living here in Canada. It's a democracy so far, you know, and uh, you can vote leaders in and out and it could be always much much worse uh, sometimes i complain and then i you know kind of pinch myself and go whoa 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 you know do you have anything to complain about well i i guess i do because i just complain for however minutes i've been talking so but in any case you know uh, who likes paying taxes upon taxes upon taxes and then we see you know our tax money being spent and just honestly uh, seemingly just being wasted to all kinds of causes that we all go what